All right, so we worked our way through transcription. We saw how the DNA code is transcribed into the uh, language of mRNA, and now mRNA got uh, modified. It got the introns excised out. It got a five prime cap, a poly A tail, and a three prime end. It's left the nucleus, entered the cytoplasm, and now it's ready for translation. Translation's where uh, we need to start uh, manufacturing some proteins. We need to start uh, putting some amino acids together and uh, really uh, getting to the meat of this protein synthesis thing, the, the, which really is the, the central dogma of biology. So this is a good animation similar to the one that I used in the, in the transcription video. We're going to see first of all the elements that are involved uh, and then move forward and look at the process itself. So translation itself is is synthesizing proteins from an mRNA template and where that template come from? From the DNA. So this is the mRNA language. Uh, we're going to need a ribosome with a large subunit and a small and there's our tRNA molecule which is going to bring with it an amino acid. A release factor is going to tell us the end and there's kind of the overview. Okay, Initiation, elongation, and termination. Let's walk, our, let's walk through it. This is our mRNA strand. Okay. The three prime end, the five prime end, here's our, our modified guanine at the five prime cap, and our poly A tail is going to be in the three prime end of our mature mRNA. This is going to go and it's going to feed through um, our ribosome. Now, notice uh, that these are codons, all right? And codons are made up of a series of three mRNA nucleotides, okay? Three successive nucleotides is an mRNA codon, an AUG, a UUA, etc. That would be a codon. And the start codon for transcription is always AUG. There's our 5' prime methylated cap. There's this small subunit of the ribosome coming and landing. They're going to associate first with the mRNA, and it's going to find the initiation site. It's going to find the start codon. Once again, we said it's AUG. When does school start? August. That's how I remember it. AUG. That's where transcription is going to begin. In comes our tRNA molecule. You can see it's shaped in that way. It's, it's a very characteristic shape of tRNA. And what matches up with AUG? U goes with A. A goes with U. C goes with G. So AUG called in UAC. And what did UAC bring with it? It brought with it this amino acid. Okay, what amino acid is it? It's methionine. And we'll learn in class how to read a particular amino acid chart. But you saw that our codon called in a particular anticodon, which brought with it an amino acid. And here landing now is the large subunit of the ribosome. And we'll be able to see that this sub subunit has two landing sites for these um, for these amino acids. This site, and there's an empty site right here. All right, we'll spell these out momentarily. In comes our second amino acid. It's landing in the amino acyl site, the A site. The P site was first occupied, the peptidyl site. Now we have the amino acyl site. Watch what's going to happen. U U U called in AAA, which brought in its characteristic amino acid. We initiated already. We've begun our initiation phase. Now we've begun elongation. Our amino acid chain is elongating. Watch. Everything shifts. The ribosome is shifting down, which kicks this particular tRNA out. Okay. This tRNA shifts down to this side, which empties this one. Etc. And we watch it over again. As things shift, this side open, this side, the tRNA in this side gets kicked out. This one shifts down, which opens up this one. And we just watch it go. And we watch our amino acid chain elongate. All right. So if you recall again, right? Remember. P site, A site. As the ribosome shifts down, 
the tRNA leaves the P site, the one in the A site shifts to the P, the A site opens up, the one in the P leaves, the A site opens up, and there we go. Elongation. This will happen. The mRNA codon keeps calling in tRNA anticodons. This is a codon. Anticodon matches up with the codon and it brings in a particular amino acid. And that's going to happen until the codon calls in a release factor. And that signifies termination. And that's going to release the amino acid chain. There's our stop codon UAG, which calls in the release factor, which releases our amino acid chain, which can then go and do whatever it needs to do, whether it's going to become an enzyme, whether it's going to become part of your eyelash, part of a fingernail, whatever it is. And that's translation. How you go from the code of mRNA, that codon calls in anticodons, which bring with them amino acids, which get assembled to a protein.